Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back at Sky Hunter Hobbies. I just stopped in for a few minutes to take a look at some of the uh, new RC cars. It's been a while since I've stopped in and so I wanted to play with the tank uh, that you guys saw me playing around with in the last couple of videos, uh, my last RC videos. And so I really love this thing and so uh, the gentleman who's one of the repair techs here, he added FPV to it. So. Uh, you can actually use your cell phone to get a first person just take water directly from the tank. Uh, he hasn't posted uh, a tutorial or anything. I remember back in the day, but, when uh, used there's to take some nice cool mods on here, so I just thought I'd figure it out and show it here off on the channel. It's worse. It's just basically. That sucks. I wish it was just water. Or is that that silicone oil you typically get with our? Tires and no. or springs and stuff. I don't know what this is. When it burns, it stinks. I hate specified stuff. I like a generic, multi-purpose type stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna head out to friendly uh, friendly hobbies in Vegas in a few days. You ever, you ever been out there? Yeah. We have a team that's out there too. Oh, sweet. You know, I never knew they were there. Um, I have only, I used to go to, was it Hobby People? Yeah, Hobby People. But they, when they closed up, I stopped looking for like hobby shops and stuff in general in Vegas, but they're not too far away from the strip. Yeah, and then uh, there's a slide line. It's a, one of their local drift tracks. All right, guys, so it's been a while since we've been back here to the hobby shop, but a uh, cool thing here, I'm talking to one of the uh, techs, and he added an FPV camera uh, to his tank. So how long did this mod take you? Uh, about an hour, because there's no videos yet. We'll definitely be making it work. And which FPV system did you use to install it? Oh, they have their own aftermarket one. Oh, okay. I thought it was something you just had to come up with and figure it out on your own. <laughs> it does shoot airsoft. Right, right. Where's the smoke? Does it take a while for it to generate or something? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, what's going on, fellas? This would have been the thing back in the day, man. When I was a kid, yeah. man. So only one of the lights work or what? Oh uh, yeah, I, I put it together wrong. That's why when I shoot, oh. the brake lights go on. So the brake lights aren't supposed to do that? No, not supposed to do that. Okay, yeah, it's just basic rewiring. It's simple. Yeah. You can change the noise of the tank. Change the action figure in here? Yeah. Oh, this is okay. Thought he had a full body or something. Uh, infrared, so all three tank sizes will interact with each other. Right. Oh, 
definitely a sick tank. Well, that looks pretty simple. You just have to rewire it to the right yeah. point. Okay. okay Oh, dang, you could mod the speaker in here, too, if you wanted to. Yeah, he said he's going to come in today. Yeah. I'm just going to figure out which... Which post it is. Looks like you got the rear ones working. Is that labeled? It is, I don't remember. Okay. I did the FPV a while ago. <coughs> How many motors does this thing have? Two. Two motors. This is the, the smoke machine motor to push this little fan to blow it out. Okay. Yeah, I have the full 360 kit. Is that something you had to add or does it come yeah. with it? No, I'll add it all. So, how much was the kit? The FPV kit's like 69 bucks. Oh, you said the FPV. I thought you said the 360 yeah, the kit. 360 kit's like 20 bucks. Oh, okay. Surprised they just didn't add that. I mean, you're already paying like $500 for the thing. Metal Gear still drives uh, Metal Gear uh, transmissions. Yeah, they're still doing that. How much was that? Uh, this came with the Pro kit. Okay. So it's all that, that was included then, right? Yep. Okay. All bearings all the way around. So you do get some 20 out of the, the Pro motor. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Did you fix the lights? Yeah. Okay. The other one's broken? Oh, I see. So the FPV is to your uh, phone. I figured yeah. it would be to like goggles or something. Well, I'm pretty sure you could get them to it. That's pretty neat. I like that. Now, what app does it use? Oh, they have their own app. Oh, sweet. Is it Bluetooth or? Wi-Fi. It's Wi-Fi, okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even recognize that. I didn't even recognize there are buttons right there. Yeah, there's a lot of buttons. So I take it this thing is pretty much standard. Like if you couldn't try to upgrade to like a spectrum radio or something else, you'd be pretty much screwed Yeah, because their ESC is kind of weird. It makes sense, but. So pretty much it's proprietary. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of, I was looking at that. I was like, wait a minute. It doesn't look like it'll be too easy to reprogram into something no, else. the receiver and ESC is to get together. Reminds me of the DJI software. Can you take pictures or anything like that with it? I have yet to try it. Looks like it has it. Photo, yeah, video. Yeah, photo, recording. Okay. Yeah, I'd have to waterproof that thing and get my use out of it. 
How long does it take to connect normally? I'm still not really figuring it out much. Oh, sweet. What is that, 720p? Yeah. Damn, that's, that is clear. So that way you can still drive. <coughs> still be able to drive and still work where you're going. That is nice, man. That's nice. Not too bad. That's nice. Bucks. Nice. Love it. You know what? They should start adding that to more RC cars. Give you that option for FPV. They should. You know, when I first started uh, running like my RCs and stuff on a track, uh -huh. it was difficult for me. Like, you know, when you're mounted, you're standing up high to look down on the track because you can't judge the depth of the track. Oh yeah. Like, I mean, if it's flat, it's flat. But you know, when a track has like uh, like a, a pit, like like little dips and stuff, it's really hard for me to judge that standing up on a higher surface. Like, if I was standing on the ground, you know, level, you could act, yeah, you could see it. But for me, it's just really hard to judge that depth when it's. Like has like a little pit or a little uh, dip in the ground. It's pretty nice. All right, we were just walking around today, so thought I should do a quick showcase, see what was new. You guys are familiar with this already. Uh, this is the Fire Team 6S. I might get one of these. Um, I've been holding off on that limited on space right now uh redoing a few things but uh from my understanding this was one of the top cars for 2022 so i may get that one or and i may get that other traxxas car that uh i don't see it but uh not the x max so i may have to bite the bullet because i definitely want to upgrade my x max to the 8s you guys know i got the first version uh x max and I'm between a rock and a hard place because you know if I upgrade my current X Max, it's going to cost me almost three or four hundred dollars. If I just go ahead and get this one, it's about what eight hundred, almost a thousand dollars now. I mean, they were a little bit cheaper by the time I was thinking about doing it. So it's like, well, do I upgrade and then spend that, you know, money and time doing it, or just pay the full freaking thousand dollars, which is what I pretty much paid for the original X Max. Ah, there it is. We got the Traxxas XRT. So. Been informed that this is the number one truck of the year for 2022. So um, there have been a lot of videos on that one. Haven't actually seen one of these in person yet, so I may have to grab one of those as well. So um, it is a cost toss up, but as soon as I get some more hobby space worked out, you guys will see these in my collection. Oh, and then these are new. Uh, this is the TRX 4M. These go for 150. Uh, these are rock crawlers, 118 scale. It's been a while since Traxxas came out uh, with something around that base. Uh, I'm really sad that they discontinued and stopped carrying that 16 scale series. You guys remember the Fiesta and the Boss? Love my Boss. You can only get replacement bars. But they do have, this, I believe this is their first version of a rock crawler in this form factor. Uh, definitely a great deal. Lots of fun. What's going on, man? How you doing? Yeah, pretty good. How are you? How are you doing? Good. You ran any more raffles lately? <laughs> when, uh, you uh, done? 10px. Run. Good radio. I'm going to have to talk to Philip. I think these raffles are rigged around here. Oh, <laughs> uh, have you? Oh, have you ran one of these yet? No. I haven't seen one of those in person yet. I know those are new, so pretty cool. I ran a couple of these. This one's lights up. It's got the hydraulics and everything. And all that, yeah. yeah, there was a guy at RCX last uh, last year. He has like a bunch of those different form factor, but he really pimped them out and added a bunch of LED lights and stuff to them. I'm gonna take it to King of Streets in Vegas, 25th, I think it is. Right, right. All right, fellas. This one, <coughs> excuse me, man. Wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough of the store. Let you guys know what's going on. I'm still in the RC business. Yeah, just looking for a number of things that'll pique my curiosity, as you guys know. Man, there's like a whole lot of stuff to get. Video cards, fireworks, it's that time of year. We got RCs, but uh, we definitely need a uh, tech shopping spree. 
a hobby shopping spree. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell because I will be at uh, Friendly Hobbies in a few days or in a few weeks. So make sure you guys don't miss out on that video. Peace out. This is Kill Dykin.